a girl now identified as Natalie Romero Puente. More on the investigation tonight from Action News 8 reporter Felix Cortez. He's live outside Salinas PD right now. Felix? Well, Dan, according to prosecutors, that young girl accidentally shot herself with the gun that belonged to her 18-year-old brother. That accidental shooting happened at the family home on the 1600 block of Georgetown Way in the Creekside Bridge area. Prosecutors say the gun that Natalie Puente accidentally discharged was illegal because it was a modified fully automatic Glock. The 11 year old was a fifth grader at Creekside Elementary School, a leader in the classroom and the playground, according to district leaders. It's pretty sad for them. Uh, my daughter's taking it pretty hard. Uh, they, were, they were all, like I said, classmates, uh, teammates on volleyball. And uh, the girl is a pretty good girl. So uh, the school's taking it pretty hard. It's a sad moment for these kids here, and you, you feel for them. I wish they didn't have to go through that. Now, uh, grief counselors and psychologists have been at the school and will continue to be there next week to help classmates and teachers deal with this tragedy. Salinas police are expected to forward their investigative reports to prosecutors very, very soon. Uh, at a minimum, two charges come to mind, negligent uh, storage of a firearm and possession of an illegal modified gun. Reporting from outside the Salinas Police Department, I'm Felix Cortez. Dan, back to you in the studio. Felix, thank you.